doesn't get any easier. I like three scoops, maybe four. The morning comes, my alarms are going off, I'm just snooze, snooze, snooze. It seems like they will be yelling at you essentially while you're in bed, willing to do different to be different. I thought it was about to be cold. It is so hot out here. It's actually so humid too. I'm about to bust my butt if I run on this. Good morning. It is time to take our shot of apple cider vinegar. I'm going on day three of taking this, I think. Yeah, day three. It doesn't get any easier. Honestly, it wasn't even that bad yesterday. It's really just like letting the, the taste leave your mouth. But I'm doing this for my gut health and to just be healthier in general. Okay, so I've got my water, my blueberries, Everything. Okay. What? to it this morning too. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day and I just love making breakfast and like putting in all that effort. All right, let me show you how I'm gonna make my yogurt parfait this morning. Um, Yeah, I'm literally obsessed. That apple cider vinegar literally has my ears like hurting. So we add some yogurt to our cup. I wish y'all could see this, it's okay though. Do like three scoops. Maybe four. This tastes really, really good. Y'all don't understand. Okay, and then we're gonna add some blueberries. 
And then lastly, we're gonna add some bee pollen. I've never had bee pollen in my yogurt before. I usually put it in my protein shakes, but if you know, then you know. So we're gonna try it in this, just a little bit. We don't wanna like ruin it if I don't like it. Wait, this is so cute. Okay, here he is. All right, and then here she is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Boom, and then we have one piece of toast with two eggs. Usually I have more, but I'm running out of bread, so we got a ration. Hey vlog, I am finally back from my class, and I'm finally ready to talk to y'all about the secret to waking up early and consistently. I'm not about to sit here and say, oh, it's so easy, just do it. Like, it's not. And I've put a lot of thought and this. It's been a whole process for me to get to this point to where I'm able to actually wake up in the morning because y'all, I struggle with this for so long. I would tell myself, oh, I'm going to wake up in the morning or oh, I'm going to do this in the morning. The morning comes, my alarms are going off. I'm just snooze, 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 30 more minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. And I just don't wake up earlier than I would usually. So I'm going to tell y'all exactly how I do that. Okay. So it starts off the night before, before you go to bed, literally turning off the TV reading a book, journaling, really just settling your mind down before you go to sleep is so important. So that way you can have a full eight hours of sleep and it's a good quality of sleep and not just sleep. It's you're sleeping really good because your mind was ready to go to sleep and the whole process and you know, all the brain stuff. So just winding down the right way really does help you in waking up early and also shooting for like seven, eight hours of sleep every night. But realistically, I know that that's not possible. And especially being a busy college student or just working in a profession or just having a life in general, like it's not always easy to hit the seven, eight hours of sleep. Sometimes you get five, sometimes it's four, sometimes sometimes it's barely any and that's okay. And it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be done, okay? That's really the key, it does not need to be perfect, you just need to do it. So whenever my alarm does go off in the morning, Sometimes I do snooze it. I'm not about to sit here and lie. Sometimes I do snooze it and I really do struggle with getting up. And then other mornings I'm like, oh, okay, I'm ready to get up and I can get up and it's easy. But sometimes it's not always easy. And for the days whenever it's not easy, I literally grab my phone and I go to YouTube and then I put on a motivational speech in the morning and I put my phone back down and I'm just in bed and I'm listening to that. And it's like, get up, do it for your future self. You have to do different to be different. And it's really just like all these affirmations that they're saying over and over and over and it's like don't be lazy like they'll be yelling at you essentially while you're in bed it's like don't be lazy get up do it stop failing yourself stop lying to yourself and i'm like yep yeah, okay so i end up just getting out of bed and as soon as i get out of bed i'll always make my bed right after so i don't come and get back in my bed so i get up make my bed and then i go to the bathroom and by the time i'm in the bathroom i splash water on my face i'm good and i'm ready to go and i'm ready to not go back to sleep okay i might not be ready to work out yet but i'm ready to not go back to sleep and so then i always take my time and i really just get ready in the morning before i go to the gym before i go work out um i wash my face i just handle my business so that whenever i do go to the gym and i do go work out i feel good about myself and i feel like put together and not like oh i just rolled out of bed to get here it's like no i woke up i did my hair i brushed my teeth i washed my face did my skincare routine like i am ready to take on this day 110 percent um, but waking up early is honestly just a mental game and a mental battle so that's why i do recommend having a motivational speech on because it is a mental thing to force yourself to get up out of bed and to force yourself to stop hitting snooze it's a mental thing 110 percent and that's why i recommend everyone trying to wake up earlier because it does help you in building up your mental toughness and mental toughness is so important especially nowadays being able to be resilient in like anything definitely recommend and then like the days that I don't put on my motivational speech, I'm just like in my head, I'm like, okay, you said you were going to do it for yourself. You said you were going to wake up. You said this the night before. So you got to stick with it. You have to be able to trust yourself and you have to be able to complete the things that you say you're going to do in order to build that trust and that relationship with yourself. If you're constantly lying to yourself, then like that, that honestly it doesn't do you any good. It doesn't do your mental health any good. It doesn't do anything any good if you're constantly lying to yourself over and over saying, oh, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, but then never actually do it. It's a mental game, um, 110%, and proving to yourself and like just talking to yourself. Whenever I'm waking up that early, I'm constantly in my head just like talking, talking, talking. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's all positive self-talk. Like, oh, okay, you got this, you got this. Like, come on. Actually, it's always positive self-talk. Um, 
so yeah i'm always talking in my head and it's always positive like oh you got this do it for yourself don't give up yeah you're tired but you said you were gonna do this and you're gonna feel better later whenever you've completed this so yeah it's always just positive self-talk to get myself up out of bed um you can't sit here and be negative and be like oh you're fat or oh i'm ugly oh i have to do this because um i'm ready to like you know what i'm saying like if it's negative stuff then like that is just not good it's not effective for your brain it's not efficient it's not helping you in any any way so literally just talking to yourself so positively in the morning and whenever you do get up and you're looking at yourself in the mirror in the bathroom you're like i'm proud of you like good job for getting up like i'm proud of you for moving your body and telling yourself those words is so important you have to give everything that you want from somebody else to yourself first before you can expect it from anybody else in this world so literally just talking to yourself saying i'm proud of you you did amazing keep pushing keep going so important and don't knock it until you try it because honestly my whole mind shift has shifted has shifted so positively since doing that so i definitely recommend and then i also recommend having like an incentive at the end of your morning that's something that you can look forward to for waking up so like mine is a big breakfast like i love breakfast i love making breakfast i love eating breakfast so knowing that okay if i wake up and i work out that i can have this big old elaborate breakfast or yours can be like tea wake up i work out i can go and have my tea in the morning or wake up work out i can have my tea and scroll on social media because i have time stuff like that is so important to just incentivize yourself and you really just have to be very kind and very nice to yourself and because this is not going to be easy it's not supposed to be easy if it was easy everyone would do it y'all know it's my favorite quote so you just have to be different you have to be willing to do different to be different so yeah, I hope that this helped. I hope that you're able to take some tips away. I hope that you're able to try this in your morning routine whenever you're struggling to wake up 5 a.m., 5.30, 6, 4.30, whatever time it may be. Just literally don't forget to talk nice to yourself. Be positive and y'all got this. Um, Vlogmas is coming up, so let me know what videos y'all want to see down below. Um, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.